Yo, what's good guys? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to be going over just a very short video on how to actually work with these modded saves. So like I said, Save Wizard is 50 or sorry, $60. I have a link down in the pinned comment in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, you can do a lot with Save Wizard. This tutorial is just to show you how to basically grab somebody else's save, you know, from their account and actually put it onto your own account. Okay, and that's what we're using Save Wizard for. So I'm gonna go over everything here, how to transfer the saves onto a USB. So you need a save wizard, you need save wizard, you need a USB and a PC basically to do this. Okay, and obviously a PS4. All right, we can only modify saves on PS4 at the moment, but here we go. So this is what you need to do first. Go ahead and plug a USB drive into your PS4 and you wanna go to the settings and go to application save data management. All right, so go to the saves that you have on the system storage copy that to a USB you're gonna click that option GTA and you see I have all these saves right here you need to grab one of these saves first so just pick any one of these saves go ahead and check mark it copy it and it's gonna copy over to your USB okay so there you go now you've done the first part you have a USB with just a regular save from your GTA game okay so now what you need to do is go ahead and go to your PC and download one of the modded files or all of them if you want to but this is how you go ahead and you work with just one modded save. All right, so right here, I plugged in my USB. This is the save that we just transferred from a PS4, okay? So it's just chilling there right on the USB. Make sure you plug your USB into the computer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and launch Save Wizard, all right? So before I launch Save Wizard though, I'm just gonna go ahead and get to the, uh, the first part of the menu right here. Uh, I'm gonna show you their website uh, down here, but as you can see, it's detecting my save, all right? That's the one I have on the USB, it just detected it. So now we are showing you just the, sh the just the save wizard page. You guys have to make the decision. I mean, if you're really, really into glitching and you have 60 bucks to spare, you know, go ahead. I made this purchase a few months ago and I've been happy with it. You know, I don't use it a crazy amount, but I had the money to spend. I'll leave that up to you, though. All right. So what you're going to go ahead and do is right click on your game save that it's detecting. OK, so go ahead and go to the cheats tab and just right click on your game save and hit advanced mode. Now it's, what it's gonna do now is open up using their servers, it's gonna just open up that game save so that you can actually modify different things in it. You know, you can actually write code if you, if you know how to do that. But we're not doing any of that. It's not crazy complicated whatsoever. You're gonna see right here what happens. So give it a few, you know, seconds. Sometimes it takes, you know, a little while. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, it even says the Meriwether heist right there uh, under data. So click on import file right there at the top right and now just pick one of those modded saves that we got right there so just double click it the modded save was imported into here make sure you're highlighted over one of the zeros and just simply type in zero okay you're gonna get this message just click X on that message and go ahead and hit apply and hit yes all right so now it's gonna take time but basically what we're doing right now is we are saving the modded save that we got from you know the file and we're actually overriding our own regular save okay so that is the way that this is one of the ways to re-sign saves there is another way i've done before but this is the way i did it here so i just wanted to show you this method so once this you know progress bar has gone all the way this save will be fully good to go okay so as you can see modification successful we're good you can close out of save wizard now and you can uh, go ahead and eject your usb and get ready to put your usb into your ps4 now so now that we've actually modified the save we've gotten the modded save put onto our usb drive it's linked to our gta account as well you want to go ahead and just you know like i said grab that usb and plug it into your ps4 so now we're back on the ps4 go over to your settings again and hit on application save data management save data on a usb drive and copy that to the to the system storage and just click on this save it's the only save we've been working with so you know it's that one and just hit yes it's going to overwrite the save that you already have on the console and there we go now you can open up gta and when you uh when you open up go to load game and load up that game save it's not going to load that one up originally unless that's your auto save but yeah, you wanna go ahead and load up that game save and just to make sure, go into director mode and check your shortlisted actors uh, you know, at the trailer and you should see all the modded outfits right there. And you have the, the chicken hawk you know, to go ahead and do the bird part, but you're free to do the glitch, you're ready to go. All right, so that's gonna be it for me guys. My name's Roll Easy. You know what to do, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn post notifications on, fat like on this video, peace out, road to 50,000, all that stuff.
Peace.